everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Aisha and if this is your first time stopping by please subscribe so I was thinking of what videos to do this week and I thought it would be fun to do like a little day in the office with me like what is my getting ready process what does my day usually look like um, how do I organize myself when I'm there stuff like that hopefully this is your kind of video but I pretty much have like 20 minutes to leave the house and I am filming so let's see how this goes so typically I wake up maybe around like 6 45 something like that i don't really like eat breakfast at home which saves me a lot of time so i typically just eat breakfast at work not even buying breakfast like i just take it with me or i leave breakfast in the fridge and that is honestly the smartest thing you could do if you work in an office like if you have a fridge or freezer definitely store breakfast there for the week so i'll buy like a bag of bagels or something and leave it there and then just get like cream cheese or i uh, leave jelly packets there too or um, i also have like my frozen trader joe's breakfast that, that i like to take there it is a really easy way to save money so that definitely saves me a couple of minutes in the morning and i need all the time i can get because i like my sleep so i usually also do like a five minute makeup routine if i have time sometimes i will literally just do my makeup at work like i get there early i will take five minutes in the bathroom to do it or maybe at my desk whichever one so today i'm gonna do it on camera though because yeah i just want to give you an idea of what a typical day would look like like this is a day of me waking up on time actually having time not really but you kind of get the idea so i always go with very light makeup so the first thing that i always do is just lightly fill my brows in with the uh, kosas brow pencil so this is my favorite brow pencil as of now like i haven't found another one that i like so far that is in drugstore so I definitely like to mix it up every once in a while but yeah I go very light I go very light just because I don't want any dramatic makeup honestly my goal for my work makeup is just to look a little more awake and put together it's not really to impress anyone so okay so brows are lightly filled in so now I just quickly clean up with concealer that's my skin tone because I'm not really highlighting my brows because again, we're, we're going for a very natural look today. So I like to use the NARS concealer. This has been one of my favorites for a little while now. And it's in the shade um, Dark Coffee. So I usually just put a little bit of this on a brush and clean up. I was supposed to wake up earlier today because I knew I was filming and that didn't work out. So now we're just gonna rush through it. But yeah, I usually get to work early regardless. Um, I guess like work starts like 9 to 9.30. So if you get there, somewhere in between there then you're on time but yeah I usually get there closer to nine which is good I also always put a little bit of brow gel on just to set my brows for the day so this is also the Kosas one again love their brow products I would love to try more of their makeup because I hear other great things but yeah I just kind of feathered through them very lightly and yeah that is it for brows usually once my brows are done like everything else can kind of speed up so I'm priming right now and usually um, I might just wear like concealer so I don't always prime but today we have like a work rooftop dinner happy hour kind of thing um, after work it's gonna be our first one or at least my first one because obviously I came when everything was still remote but I'm really excited because everyone is going and yeah I guess to kind of like you know hang out with my co-workers um, outside of work and you know obviously rooftop it's gonna be good vibes so that's why I also want to do a little more makeup just like makeup that works for work but also works for after work if that makes sense <laughs> so yeah I'm just priming now and then I'm just gonna go in with my skin tints of course the Ami Kole one it looks so beat up like I need a new one but it just works so good like I have not used a skin tint that I love this much and yeah I pretty much just blend this all out until I get an even consistency so I'm just gonna use this Merit Beauty brush it's been one of my favorite ones because I just feel like it buffs out the product which is nice okay now we have like 15 minutes so we have to leave the house so let's see how fast that can be <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer under my eyes too this is just to obviously cancel any darkness also it really wakes my face up which I like so yeah I let that sit for like two seconds honestly I don't really let it sit for that long because I'm usually rushing in the morning and then I go in with this like tapered real techniques brush um, it's actually a contour brush but I use it for my concealer and I just blend. I use a tiny bit of highlighting concealer like literally a dot of it so this is the Maybelline fit me one yeah, I just do this to wake me up a little bit and just 
add some life to my face but it's not really meant to like dramatically highlight as if I were like going out at night or something and then I just use that same tapered brush to blend it out because it just keeps the product from moving everywhere and I don't know if you can see like it already kind of highlights or brings my face back to life um, so yeah I blend that out well and then I usually will go in with powder right after just to make sure everything is set So I always go with the Charlotte Tilbury powder after. As you can see, I'm pretty much at the pan of it. So the Sephora sale is coming up. So I think I'm just going to buy the full size because obviously I've been using the travel size for a few months now and I love it. So might as well invest in the full size. But I just use this one for under my eyes because it is a little lighter than me. And it just does a great job smoothing everything out. Um, yeah, so one of my favorite powders if you want to pick it up for the sale. And then I take my skin tone powder from um, One Size Patrick Star. This is my shade. It's the shade Deep 4NR Neutral, I think. And yeah, pretty much is powder everywhere else. Alright, so we're almost done. I'm just going to bring some color back into my face. So I put this Fenty bronzer on just to warm my face up. It's really good if you want to go for like that natural sun-kissed look. You can also use it as a blush, which I love. Like it looks really great as a blush on dark skin, um, on dark skin. So I also put some of this on my eyelids to put some dimension back into my face. And I always use my favorite blush from Merit Beauty. So this is the Mood one. It's like their cheek balm. And I just love the color of this. Like it just gives me the most natural, like rosy kind of look and then I'm just gonna spray my face out and then put mascara on so it doesn't transfer so I always like to take my outfit out from the night before because this just helps me a lot in the morning especially a day like this where I'm kind of rushing so I have this H&M blazer on and then I also have this Zara bodysuit it's like a brown bodysuit and I wanted to wear jeans today because we also have like the rooftop dinner thing after but I think I'm gonna go with my cream color Melina pants, obviously my favorite pants ever, but this obviously goes with the outfit a lot better. So I'm going to quickly get dressed now. All right, so I'm going to quickly show you the final look. So this is the outfit. And then I also want to wear these loafers of mine. I got these from Macy's. They're cream color, which I like. So it usually goes with a lot of my outfits. So as of now, I think I'm going to do a half up, half down, because I also want to use this scrunchie that I have from Urban Outfitters that goes with the outfit. And then of course I have to use perfume. So I literally pick perfume based on how I'm feeling that day. Like whatever the outfit is, whatever the mood is, I'll pick a perfume. So this one I gravitate towards a lot though. Of course the Princess by Killian cause it lasts all day, which I like. So I don't have to like reapply or anything. So yeah, that is pretty much it. So I'm gonna take you along to work, run out so I'm not late. And yeah, we'll see how today goes. just make coffee here but today I really wanted to get Starbucks because Ramadan is coming so I know I'm gonna miss this next week but I just got my usual brown sugar shaken oat milk espresso and then I have this like little egg witch sandwich from Trader Joe's it's really good so yeah I usually eat breakfast here just to save me time in the morning for getting ready so once I eat breakfast I have a meeting soon so I have to go prep for that um, basically update the agenda to make sure that we know what we're talking about and yeah so I'm gonna eat breakfast and then get back to you later with how I organize myself hello everyone so sorry if you could hear the air purifier because I don't want to turn it off but my first meeting of the day got canceled so I didn't really have to do the agenda which was nice but I'm so sad because our happy hour got rescheduled I was really Really excited for that because that was gonna be my first time like hanging out with people outside of work but it's okay I'll be there for the next one so luckily this week has been a little quiet like I haven't had as much to do which is nice but I still have a couple of things to get done today and I guess I just want to show you how I typically like organize myself what my thought process is like in the beginning of the day so right now I'm in a random conference room so yeah this is the conference room It's one of my favorite ones because it's like nice and small so I like to switch up where I work even in undergrad like I could never sit in one place and study all day like I have to switch it up because it just helps me I don't know it does something to me so I usually find a random conference room um, every day sometimes I'll find a focus room so we have a couple of rooms we have lots of rooms actually in the building where you could just sit there. You don't really have to rent them out. You can just 
chill in there for the day some of them have couches some of them have chairs and like a tv so i love this one but a little off topic so this job has required me to become such an organized person i realized that you probably don't even know what i do so to basically sum it up i'm an integrated marketing coordinator so you're probably like what is that so in the simplest form i work with like tracking and managing sponsorships that clients may purchase with the company so for example like commercials that you see on tv whenever you see that it's sponsored by someone you know those companies actually buy it they pay actually a lot of money <laughs> to get those commercials aired so i'm basically managing those sponsorships and those uh like purchases or like making sure that clients have those options and then i'm also making sure that they get to production so that they actually air so hopefully that gives you a good idea of what i do it's probably confusing but it's honestly not that bad of a job like as long as you're organized you're good but if you're not organized that could mean the company losing money a client losing out on an opportunity to obviously promote their brand so it's definitely important for me to stay on top of it so i have two forms of organizing myself and i need to basically use both of them together so that i can really stay on top of it so this is my planner i love it so much so i got it from tj maxx and does it not match my room like perfectly like look at I mean, this literally looks like the sheets that I have. I feel like because of how pretty it is, it makes me want to write in it more. So it has like all these stickers in them that I get to use for like different uh, things that I'm doing. And then of course it has like all the tabs for the different months. So it's a really, really good planner. I paid $10 for it and I pretty much swear by it. So I typically don't write every task in this. I kind of write like smaller things that I have to do. And then the big things, I use Trello for that, which I'll get to that in a second. But yeah, typically I'll like maybe write what's important for the day, um, like different things that I have to do. Um, sometimes I also put like personal tasks that I have on this because it helps keep me on top of it. Like if I have to edit my YouTube video, if I have to go grocery shopping, like I'll put that on this planner. And then of course I use the calendar for like bigger dates, like payday, like things that I need to remember for sure. So. Yeah, that is pretty much what I swear by. So right now, I'm just going to try to plan out things that I have to do for today. And I also got these really cute marker pens from TJ Maxx. And they were only $7. And they come with like a bunch of colors. Love these because it just makes me want to write more when it looks pretty. So Trello is a really great, great resource if you're looking for, you know, some kind of visual organization so this is just a random board that i clicked i don't have my exact board because i'm actually not sure if like i don't want to have any privacy issues so i love trello because you can make a list you can name it whatever and then you can let's say put something here and then you can like move them over like kind of shift them to like another list and it's just like really good for being visual but there's also plenty of templates so um if you're someone who wants a specific style you can find it like it's a really really great resource and it's free so if you're someone who even in school like i definitely use this in college i use this for internships i use it for my job now like i definitely swear by this platform so the way that i use my trello i feel like you have to find a way that works for you because i used to use it and i don't really feel like i was getting as much out of it because i kind of just had everything on one list and it was like okay check it off if you did it but it was kind of like it still looked very unorganized and yeah it just wasn't helping me a lot so now what i do is i have separate lists for different things like for a very specific thing so if there's something i need to add to my grid for example because i manage the sponsorships i'll have a list for things that i haven't added yet i basically have a bunch of different lists it really helps keep me organized because everything is not in one place and i'm able to focus on one thing at a time so i want to focus on the sponsorship grid for example on a certain day because i usually send it out every monday or tuesday i'll just look at that list and see what haven't you added what do you need to add what's done already and then i can move on to the next thing that i have so i don't know if that was a bit of a ramble but it is a lot easier if you if you're really specific with cello at least i found that but yeah, definitely play around with it, see what works for you because everyone has their own organization style. So I'm definitely going to use this morning to mostly get my to-do list together, any things that I want to get done before Friday because I do work from home typically on Friday, so I like to be as productive as I can on Thursdays. So I got a couple things done for the morning, so I think I'm gonna go on lunch now. So I'm trying this pokey place for the first time and I'm really excited because some of my coworkers hyped it up. Like they said pokey's really good, so we're gonna try this place out nearby. And also for the month of March, the company is paying for lunch every day. So since today's the last day of March, I definitely wanted to buy lunch if I know I'm gonna get the money back. So yeah, we're gonna get pokey and then hopefully it's good. I 
having lunch and I was getting some more things done, but I'm in another conference room right now um, because we have a meeting with some of the coordinators right now. So we're about to do that. But yeah, I pretty much brought all of my stuff here. I'm just moving all around the building today, as you can see. But yeah, super quiet, super not busy today. So I'm just using this time to get some of those longer assignments done that take more time. Look at Ray, she's so cute, right? First yes. time in the office. Right, her first time in the office because she lives in Philly. No, not Pittsburgh. Philly. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Oh my god, I disrespected your town like that. Oh my god. She lives in Pittsburgh, but do you want to give us like an outfit of the day? Um, okay, yeah. She looks very cute today. We have on. Look at the, oh, the shoes. Like, wow. Okay, and then we got a green blazer. Zara blazer. Zara, can't go and wrong. Then, you know, all black. Yes, and, and do you see the glasses, underneath. the detail? Yes. She got like the cheetah print, tortoise, yes. you know, yes. very fashionable. We are about to have a meeting. Hello everyone, so I'm about to head out now. I feel like I didn't do a lot of vlogging today. Could have done more justice, but I think today was just a bit of a weird day. Like a lot of people didn't really come in. And then also like, I kind of, I kind of got busier towards the end of the day with a lot of things that I do next week. And I couldn't really vlog it because I'm pretty sure they're private or like people aren't supposed to see it. So I hope you enjoy this video though. Hopefully it all comes together anyways. So this is just sort of a typical day. Not really, but in a way like this is kind of what I usually do. Just in terms of like getting ready, organizing myself, having meetings. Yeah, that's that's pretty much my life right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I post videos every Monday at 3 p.m. So please put the bell notification on so you can know whenever I post. And I hope that everyone is staying safe, taking care of their mental health. I'll see you in my next video.